Welcome to Bizwell. I'm Adrian Seat. Investors and financiers will risk losing out by not turning towards Asia that is endowed with vast amounts of natural resources, potential renewable energy and a growing population. With this, Prime Minister Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim said there is a potential for the region to develop as a player in the net zero value chain. In addition to developing hydrogen and CCS opportunities for storing carbon, with the innovation of batteries and electric, electric storage well underway, there is opportunity to develop the rare earth minerals and establish a conducive ecosystem to strengthen supply chain. He said developing these resources require access to financing, technology and innovation, the right policy framework and skill sets for the future. Achieving the climate goal for the region will also require significant traction in clean energy investment. Hence, he stressed for the need for stronger collaboration between the region and the world, between industries and sectors to realise their crucial energy and climate ambitions. The government has no plans to implement law enforcement action on environmental, social and governance ESG compliance by micro, small and medium enterprises MSMEs in this country. Economy Minister Rafizi Ramli said the implementation and reporting of ESG practices by companies in Malaysia is currently voluntary and is encouraged for all public listed companies. Kementerian Ekonomi sebagai focal point dalam pelaksanaan ESG di Malaysia akan terus mempergiat usaha untuk menggalakkan penerimaan ESG di kalangan pemain industri. He said the government's focus today is to develop an ecosystem that is conducive to ensuring compliance and the introduction of ESG elements amongst MSMEs can be accelerated and not be burdensome. This ecosystem will cover aspects related to clear policies and guidelines, appropriate standards, sufficient funding and incentive elements, as well as awareness and understanding. A total of 38.9% of those who enrolled in the Credit Counseling and Debt Management Agency's AKPK Debt Management Programme failed to pay their debt due to the high cost of living as of February 2023. First, Deputy Finance Minister Dato Sri Ahmad Mazlan said that weak financial planning, business failures, job loss and high medical costs are amongst the other factors that had caused debt payment problems. Dari segi umur yang banyak menghadapi masalah kegagalan pembayaran hutang, masalah hutang ini, uh, 41% atau 162,000 berumur antara 30 ke 40 tahun. Uh, dari segi status perkahwinan, 77% yang berkahwin. He also called for individuals with debt management problems to refer to AKPK to avoid the risk of being declared a bankrupt. Meanwhile, in terms of annual income, more than 32% have an annual income of less than 24,000 ringgit. The increase in investment limit for Amana Saham Bumiputra ASB, ASB2 and Amana Saham Malaysia ASM have brought in new funds totaling 3.5 billion ringgit in the last three months. But Modalan National Berhad's president and group CEO Ahmad Zukanain On said the figure is forecast to increase by between 3 and 5 billion ringgit by year end. He added that the fund increase came from about 96,000 unit holders, of which 30% were Bumiputra. The limit for ASB and ASB2 had previously been increased to 300,000 ringgit from 200,000 ringgit beginning April 1st, while the fund size for ASM was increased to 5 billion ringgit beginning May 1st. And that concludes Abyss World this time around. I'm Adrian Seat. Thanks for investing your time with us and stay tuned.